must try Maryland style pit beef. I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. When you were a little kid, do you remember going to your first sporting event? You walked in through the gates and you could just smell it. Ah, it smelled like springtime. You could hear the fans and best of all, you could smell some amazing food. In Maryland, the Baltimore Orioles, their specialty is Maryland style pit beef. And we're gonna show you how to cook that today. Okay, a couple quick things to note. Most of the time I cook this up with an eye of round. It's normally one of the most inexpensive cuts you can get at your grocery store and it's really tough. But if you cut it into sections and you follow this method I'm about to show you, you can see that it can turn a really tough piece of beef into something magical. I'm actually using bottom round. So you can really make pit beef from any part of the shoulder. All right, sometimes they call it a shoulder clot, uh, inside shoulder. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Some people say you have to use a certain cut. Not in my book. You can use bo bottom, top, eye of round, uh, whole shoulder, whatever you want to do. As long as you do it the way I'm going to show you, you're probably going to be pretty happy with it. So this is a pretty simple cook. All right. All you need is some fuel. You can use wood. 90% of the time I just use oak or hickory as a base but today I have some charcoal I wanna get rid of. So I'm just using lump charcoal and all you need is to get it really hot and then I'll show you what's next. All right, you're only gonna use two ingredients for this recipe, garlic salt. And actually most people just use regular salt, but I've been dying to use garlic salt. Uh, and this from a lot of caterers I hear is a go-to secret weapon. Uh, so I definitely want to put it on here because normally I'll use salt and garlic powder, but I just want to try this Lowry's garlic salt. Everybody says it's a secret weapon. And black pepper, you know me, I normally put fresh cracked pepper on this, but this is going straight over a flame. So you really, I just got this today. This is going to be fresh enough. Now one of the problems with the cow I had butchered is the butcher did a great job, don't get me wrong, but nine times out of 10, I can't tell which way the grain's going until I cut into it. So you're gonna have to forgive me if you see me cutting with the grain at first. Don't hate in the comments. Just smelling that lump charcoal going takes me right back to the ballpark. It smells awesome. And I know we can't go to a game right now, but do this recipe, your family's gonna feel like they're just right back at the ballpark. So every few minutes, guys, I'm going over there and I'm flipping it. Actually, right now I'm doing it every three minutes. And I'm gonna shoot, show you a couple close-ups of it right over the coals, I'm trying to get that as hot as possible. All right guys, the way the charcoal is burning right now, every three minutes I'm going over and I'm giving it a flip. And right over the grill, it's getting super hot there, but it's not as hot as I want it to be. That's okay. Like I said, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. You can do this in an oven. I've seen a lot of people do that on YouTube. You can do it over hardwoods, uh, you know, oak, hickory, apple, cherry. Uh, today, I just felt like using charcoal and I'm trying to get those charcoals as hot as possible. So every three minutes I'm going over there and I'm flipping, I'm flipping, I'm flipping. If your guests can't wait to bite into this beef, that's okay. I'm gonna show you before we get to the sandwich, 
an awesome party favorite that we always do. Especially if you get a big beef shoulder and it's taken a while to cook, you can slice right from the pit. I'm gonna show you how to do that. That's right, if your friends are like my friends and they can't wait to eat, you can actually slice. Start slicing. Now since this isn't with the grain, you're gonna to wanna to cut it up into small pieces. Now, you see that, all you do for that, just put some more garlic salt right on there. Hear that sizzle, just put it right back on there. Now the best thing for this is a side of horseradish. In better times, you used to be able to, you know, finger pick. You might have to switch it up now with COVID going on for when we start being able to hang out again. And then you wanna have some really big flaky salt. This is for around a campfire, around the waterfront or wherever your backyard's located and you and your friends can't wait anymore. You can start slicing right into it. A little salt, a little horseradish, boom. One of the best meals you'll have. As you put the sandwich together, you really want to put the thinnest pieces you cut. All right, and you can really load this up if you wanted to. I'm making mine just for the video. I'll probably load this up for my second bite. But the next thing you want to put on is the most paper thin, clear, see how you can see through these onions basically? They're almost translucent. You want paper thin, raw, white onion, yellow onion, whatever you can get your hands on. Oops. And then you're gonna want some good old fashioned horseradish. You know us Marylanders, we either gotta put Old Bay or some heavy horseradish on there. Now you can put barbecue sauce on here. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But there you have it, people. I hope everybody's enjoyed this. You know I'm gonna take a bite out of this and it's gonna bring me right back to being at Camden Yards the last time I was there. So do yourself a favor, uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, that little bell, so you get notified of all our latest cooks. For my other YouTube creators out there, I challenge you, all right, we're seven weeks into quarantine. Make me feel like I'm walking into a ballpark or an awesome backyard barbecue. Show me what you got with hashtag hometown cooks or hometown ballpark. All right, no more talking. Mm. <laughs> Ooh.
Let's go O's. Taste the onion. Not used to a beard, so I don't know if I have food. Taste that onion. Kaiser roll. Mm, my kids would yell at me seeing me talking with my mouth full. Kaiser roll, horseradish. Oh, all we need now is cow rounding the bases. You guys, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I'll see you around. Bye. He's good. Parker wants to play a game today or going forward in our videos called Easter eggs. She's going to hide an apple within the screenshot and you got to comment down below where you see the apple. Did you find Parker's little Easter egg? I'll give you